Welcome viewers. Today we are going to cover factoring in receivables management. We are going to take question 2 from financial management December 2018 sample questions. I have gone ahead here and uh, prepared the performer that we will use to answer our question together today. Let's go to the question. Here is the question number 32. Required A. Calculate the costs and benefits of each option 1 and option 2 and comment on your findings. 8 marks. B. Discuss reasons other than cost and benefit already calculated. Why Oscar company may benefit from the services offered by the factoring company. C. Discuss three factors which determine the level of the company's investment in working capital, six marks. Today we will only be covering part A, calculate the costs and benefits of each of option A, 1 and option 2 and comment on your findings. Now let's go to the scenario. Oscar Code designs and produces tracking devices. The company is managed by its four founders who lack business administration skills. The company has revenue of 28 million and all sales are on 30 days credit. Its major customers are large multinational car manufacturing companies and are often late in paying their invoices. Oscar is a rapid growing company and revenue has doubled in the last four years. Oscar Co. is focused in this time on product development and customer service and managing trade receivables has been negated. Oscar Company's average trade receivables are currently 5.37 million and bad debts are 2% of all credit sales revenue. Partly as a result of poor credit control, the company has suffered a shortage of cash and has recently reached its overdraft limit. The four founders have spent large amounts of time purchasing customers for payment. In an attempt to improve trade receivable management, Oscar Co. has approached a factoring company. The factoring company has offered two possible options. Option 1. Administration by the factor of Oscar Company's invoicing, sales, accounting, and receivables collection on a full recourse basis. The factor will charge a service fee of 0.5% of credit sales revenue per year. Oscar Company estimates that this would result in savings of $30,000 per year in administration costs. Under this arrangement, the average trade receivables collection period will be 30 days. Option 2. Administration by the factor of Oscar Company's invoicing, sales accounting and receivables collection on a non-recourse basis. The factor will charge a service fee of 1.5% of credit sales revenue per year. Administration, cost savings and average trade receivables collection period will be as option 1. Oscar Co. will be required to accept an advance of 80% of credit sales when invoices are raised at an interest rate of 9% per year. Oscar Co. pays interest on its overdraft at a rate of 7% per year and the company operates for 365 days per year. Now when we are talking about uh, factor, factoring, we have got full recourse and non-recourse. Full recourse, it means even if Oscar Co. can uh, give the factor its receivables later for the factor to chase, the factor will usually advance Oscar Co. with some funds, but if the factor fails to collect the funds from the customers, the factor will return back the receivables and claim its advance payment. But on a non-recourse basis, when even if the factor fails to collect the funds from customers, it will not demand its advance payment. So 
in none recourse its equivalent to ensuring the company of its bad debts. In none, in full recourse, it means the company will be advancing a, a loan to it, the company. The factor will be advancing a loan to the company. So now, here how this works, it works this way. All receivables need to be funded. Now, to fund the receivables, Oscar Co. pays an interest of 7% per year on funding the receivables. Now, if the receivables are given the factor, it means now Oscar Co. will be able to maintain these 30 days. As here, we are told that the customers often pay late, so often they pay after 30 days. So when the the ledger is given to the factor, we assume that all the receivables will pay within 30 days. So now let's um, go on and calculate option 1. But before we calculate option 1, we are told here that um, currently the receivables are standing at 5.37 million. Then we need to calculate we need to calculate the revised receivables. The revised receivables will be calculated as twenty-eight million multiplied by thirty days as all receivables will pay within thirty days divided by three six five. So say 28 million multiplied by 30 days divided by 365. So the receivable balance will drop from 5.370 million to 2.3 million. So now it means before the factor, Oscar Co was financing 5.37 million receivables. So after the factor, Oscar Co will now only finance 2,3 million. So how much is the reduction? So the reduction in receivables is 3,068,630. That needs to be, that is reduced. As now, Oscar Co is now only financing 2.3 instead of 5.3 million. Now, the benefits now is the reduction in financing. Oscar Co was financing 5.3, but now he has to only finance 2.3. So 3 million has been reduced. So now the 3 million that is um, reduced was going to be financed by 7% before the factor. So now we'll simply say this reduction in receivables multiplied by 7%. So now by engaging the factor, now Oscar Co is saving 214,804 as financing receivables. Now we are also told that uh, engaging the, the factor also there will be some admin cost saving of 30,000. So the total savings or the total benefit that will be enjoyed by Oscar is $244,804. But out of those um, benefits Oscar Co. will have to pay the factor charge or the factor fee of 0.5% on credit sales. So 0.5% on credit sales. We are told that the sales are 28 million. So it will be 28 million multiplied by 0.5%. So come here and say 28 million multiplied by 0,5%.
So Oscar Co has to pay the factor 140. Now the net benefit will be the benefit less the factor fee. So the overall net benefit will be 104,804 as per option one. Now let's go to option two. Option two, we still have got this reduction as the receivables are still reduced to 2.3 million from the original 5.3. So now this still applies. Also, the administration savings are still what enjoyed as savings. Now, as this is a non-recourse, it means that this 2% bad debts, the factor will pay that, will not claim the bad debts from Oscar. So, Oscar will, re will enjoy the what? The insurance of 2% bad debts. So we we'll say 2% of 28,000. Multiply by 2% like that. So Oscar Call will enjoy. The nanny recourse is the factor will pay everything, including the bad debts of 560. Now, we have got an increase now in financing costs. This option 2 says here, Oscar Co. will be required to accept an advance of 80% of credit sales when invoices are raised at an, in are raised at an interest rate of 9%. Usually, Oscar Co. finances its receivables using a bank overdraft at a rate of 7%. Now, he has to finance 80% of its receivables at 9%. So, there is an increase here of 2%. So, here, the 80% of its receivables, its current, its revised receivables, is 2,3. So Oscar Co will have to pay 80% times 9% of this one, whereas he used to pay 7%. So there will be an increase of 2%. So there will be 2.301370 multiplied by 80%. Yes, 80% of that will be advanced, multiplied by bracket 9 minus 7 percent, that is 2 percent. Then we will simply say this figure here, multiplied by 80 percent, multiplied by 2 percent, 2 percent coming from 9% minus 7%. Then we get that much. Then also the factor fee under option number 2 will increase to 1.5. As now, this is nanny recourse. The factor fee will increase to we increase to 1.5%. So we simply say 28 million multiply by 1.5 percent 28 million multiply by 1.5 percent we get that then we sum all the costs of option two then now the net benefit will be the benefits less the cost. Now the net benefit will be will be 347,982 under option number two. So when comparing option number one and option number two, 
we see that option number two gives a bigger or a larger net benefit. So now Oscar Co will choose option number two with a larger benefit. And op also option number two, it's a non-recourse as Oscar Co will, will enjoy not refunding the bad debts to the factor as now the factor is an insurance as the factor is now what insuring oscar co of the two percent bad debts if you have enjoyed this video please do not forget to subscribe thanks for watching